Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Always that said, you have to, what do you have to do? Well, Reverend was telling me, you're, you're Buddhist, you have to say, don't let it worry you. Yeah. You must put it behind you. Yeah, move on. Carry on regardless. No. You don't do you know? Make, you don't Are you a true Buddhist? No. You don't even, um, acknowledge. You don't even make a judgment on it. Yeah. You're just happy with what you You should be, ha yeah, be yeah, happy you with what we got, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, slide up. Bless me, Father, for I have said. Very good, so can we help? So good old Catholic <laughs> religion, no. Yeah. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> cheers. So cheers. 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 I don't think I hit James. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Do you know Not one of your you. strongest cheers. good cheers. points, Dad? No. Is that no, you don't. listen to every single thing that people say. Yeah. And you take it on board. Well, Do you know what I mean? Like you listened earlier yeah, to Robin exactly said, so what he, Robin was saying, yeah. and then you're like incorporating it. You like it, okay? Yeah. And it's, I was freaking out in there in the kitchen. <laughs> I was really having a tough time because, like, you know, yeah, I want it to be nice, good, but you know, what it is. I know. So I mean, I'm the one who's getting like. You're not. You're not at ups, all. Ups, I'm, I'm getting like ah, oh, I'm fucked up. The <laughs> but we're, I and think it's a so. shit piece of meat, you know. And it's lovely. And like, yeah, it's very, it's very non-zen. Yeah. yeah. Well, come and so join you, us, anyhow. Exactly. If you want to join our club, yeah, come yeah. on down to Murphy's pub. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's up a mouse and the boys are afraid. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, though. I mean, no, no. that's uh, because I care. Of yeah. course. Yeah. 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 Oh, Jesus. And you wanted to cook a nice dinner. But yeah. Robin, it's gorgeous. Mm. I love it. It's oh, absolutely right. gorgeous. Mm. I agonize yeah. over things like that, Robin. No. Yeah, I know, yeah. It's never the perfectionist thing. It's all I want to say is it's a shit piece of meat. No. <laughs> it is the perfectionist. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. No, it's a vegetarian. But I'm still enjoying it. Even though it's a bit tougher than the other night, it's still really good, though. Even though it is tougher than the other night, it's still a really nice piece of meat. It's tasty. It's got great flavour and the vegetables, and it's very tasty. You guys should buy horses. Yeah. Then you get used to getting fucking beaten. <laughs> beaten in the phone of our Christ. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I told you in that book I was reading there about that racehorse trainer in, in England, didn't you? Paul Nichols. And he yes, came he up did. from you know, the, the bottom me. and he trains loads yeah, of winners anyway. Yeah. yeah. But he I'm had this sure. client, this, you know, uh, who owned a few racehorses in his stable with other people. A fella oh. called Harry Finlay, oh, who was a cockney. You know. now, I saw him on television myself. Now, a fellow would be clock up about by the minute, uh, talking anyway, you know. This guy now was something else, and he'd be back, oh, oh, but uh, 20,000 pounds on this, 20,000 pounds on this, and all that. But anyway, the course of the book, anyway, your man is describing how Finlay invited them all to uh, Wembley, or to where the uh, the World Cup, World Rugby Cup was being played. Mm -hmm. And New Zealand were playing France. And this guy had bet 1.6 million pounds on New Zealand. To win. Is this just in the last World Rugby Cup? Yeah, the, no, 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 that, it was sure. just before that now. Okay, well, no, they the were in New Zealand that. for that. Okay. Yeah, but this time it was, it was in England, it was oh. in London. Okay. Uh, and he had bet mm. 1.6 million pounds on New Zealand. Well. And your men came out and beat in France. They were leaving 18 something at half time, anyway. Oh my God, and he it wouldn't like to. his betting. These guys, they bet on the exchanges, they bet on dollars, they bet on the whole world. I, I'd say he wasn't, you know, in primary education, was a highly intelligent guy, but a, a mad man at the same size. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, put all that money on. A mad man, highly intelligent. <laughs> but you meet head cases like that, if you were, go to the races or go to the dog, you meet guys like that. And it's the same in the financial circumstances. This fellow, J.P. McManus, who is now the richest man probably in Ireland or England or in Europe. Well, do you know him, James? Yeah, yeah, he's a currency trader guy, yeah. yeah. And, a, and a gambler, yeah. Yeah, he's he, angry. Really. Yeah, 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 I was going to say, yeah. there's so much. He gambles on was, stocks and shares yeah. and finance. Betting on a dog, betting on a company, it's all the same. He has about 200 race horses and he has about three or four stud farms in Ireland, J.P. Mm -hmm. McFarland. But, but apparently, years ago, he was busted three times as a bookie. Went to and he came back. Well, hmm. 
So uh, I'm not following his full question. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. Yeah, gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, you've definitely got some good stories and gonna be home. I love the way you cook, Robin. Mm. Yeah, great cook. Mm -hmm. Really nice. We were saying that that <laughs> pile of mashed potatoes would have been much appreciated out in Ballsbridge back in the day. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Imagine. They cook a great mashed potato too, Robin, yeah. yeah. They're already lumpy, though. They're, 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 they're not even lumpy. lumpy. There's not lumps in them. Actually, the best way to cook mashed potatoes is in their skin, aren't they? Mm. So they don't get all soaked yeah. with the water. Yeah. Did, I didn't do that with these. I just chopped them up. No. 